Yes, it's time for another moment for mission. So everyone here knows how we support Open Door with food, clothing, financial support, and prayers. So please give a warm welcome to Open Door's Executive Director, Michael Hennessy. Thank you, Bob, and thank you for having me. And Mike, it's okay. Mike, I knew Mike from I know Mike from a long time ago in a different uh, life for me. And uh, and I, t I told Bob that when he said Habitat for Humanity, so well, let's indirectly we kind of do that too. We are a habitat for humanity, and uh, we just don't build a new house every year. But uh, thank you for having me. I'm so blessed to have you. I'm so blessed to meet Bob, who uh, came down to see me and visit with us and uh, took the nickel tour. Um, I always tell folks, if you want the dime tour, or see Walter, our program director. If you want the nickel tour, see me. Um, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you about those guys in a minute. But uh, I just want to uh, thank you for having me. I'm so blessed to be here. I love being in a house that understands outreach, and uh, especially outreach locally, because there's uh, we the, the, a lot of ministries that understand missions and... Uh, uh, Blessed are the ones who realize that there's missions and outreach without a plane ticket involved. And uh, we have a place where you can do missions right here. And, uh, and if you don't believe me, taste and see. Come and see us and we'll show you some, some uh, missions, uh, some mission fields and some ripe mission fields. But I wanted to just jump into uh, uh, a quick message uh, you're, you're uh, hearing from your pastor today. Uh, from 1 John 4, 7, and 21. And verse 21 says, And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. This is a commandment. This isn't a, a suggestion, right? And uh, so what does love look like? And it reminded me of a story. Well, because the second, the, the great commission is go into all the world and spread the gospel, correct? But the greatest commandment is... With all, with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. And it reminded me of a story of a book I was reading that uh, uh, talked about uh, this, this uh, uh, missions uh, leader went into one of the largest divinity schools in the country. And he said, and he went in to talk, speak to the seniors. They were just about to graduate. And he came in and said, okay, what's the great commission? And he oh, come on, this guy, give us something tougher, you know. Go preach all the world with the gospel. And he said, great, what's the, what's the greatest commandment? And they said, uh, uh, they repeated the greatest commandment. And he said, great, now I know you have a professor of evangelism. And I know you have courses set up for evangelism. But where's neighboring 101? Who's the professor of neighboring? I'd like to meet him. And, and it caught the students aback because there wasn't courses on neighboring. But, and yet, it's a commandment that uh, God takes very seriously. So it made me think, what does neighboring look like? What does neighboring look like? Well, after uh, Luke 10 and 27, which you just repeated, says, love your neighbor as yourself, do this and you shall live. Seems important. And, but verse 29 says, well, who is my neighbor, they asked. And Jesus spoke and told them the story of the Good Samaritan. You all know the story where the priest and the Levite went by the, the beaten and downtrodden uh, man on the side of the road. And the priest and the Levite, Levite went to the other side. Those who you would expect you know, had, the, had the spirituality and the piousness to understand the laws. And it was the Samaritan who were even enemies of the Israel people at the time. They were, they were uh, not held in high regard, but he helped him. He bandaged his wounds, and he cared for him. He cared for him. And, and he brought him to an innkeeper, and uh, he said, and he paid his bill, and he said, you know, if there's any other, anything else, let me know, and I'll take care of it. And that, to me, is God's description of neighboring, that we love our brother. How? By caring for him. You know, it makes me realize that sometimes we get things out of order, 
and we need to evangelize, but how will someone receive us more readily? I would submit to you that's after we care for him. You know, I, I texted Walter this morning because he has this great saying, and I always get it wrong, and I mess it up, and it's, and it's, and it's, I've heard him say, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And that's what neighboring is about. Neighboring is about first reaching out to your neighbor and showing him that you care. That's showing him love. And then, and then that individual will have a heart, a softer heart to receive from you. And I would submit that we don't get it out of order, that we first show that we care, and then we, we, we teach the great commandment, and we love our neighbor first, and then we perform the great commission. Because one of the reasons I was here, and Bob sent me an email, was there was some, there was some feedback that came back to the church, and, and uh, uh, I, I think I know what it's about, because it wasn't just here. And we knew that we were making some changes at the mission, and uh, we knew that it could ruffle some feathers. And it was based in the fact that we determined that we were going to change the order of our meal. From For 30 years, we had a chapel service and then a meal. But after long thought and prayerful consideration, and there's some more details involved, we decided that what was best for advancing the gospel was to love our neighbor first and to show them how much we care for them. And then, then, their hearts would be softened and they could receive the Great Commission. So I'd love an opportunity. I'm going to meet with the missions board after. And uh, I just want to let you folks know that the changes that we're making and I hope to come back and tell you some other changes that we're making because we've made a lot. But come and see and let us show you. But what we're about at the mission is to advance the gospel to, and, and advance Jesus to a higher level of excellence. And uh, please uh, uh, do what Bob did. And uh, if there's any questions, come and see. Amen? Thank you. Amen.